After several delays, the federal government has finally passed a second round of economic aid for small businesses and hospitals during the COVID-19 pandemic. WGN's Lourdes Duarte is here with more on that. Lourdes. Yeah, a lot of people have been waiting for this. The second wave of funding has the same requirements as the first. Businesses had to be operational on February 15th of 2020 and have fewer than 500 employees. Those are the main things. The hope right now is that this second round of funds will last a lot longer than the first. This should have never happened to our country. This should have never happened to 184 other countries either. This was a disgrace that it was allowed to happen. So with that, I'll sign the bill. Today, President Trump signed the second wave of help for the country, a nearly $500 billion bill boosting hospitals and testing, but also small businesses. Rick Kelly has 10 employees that exhibit fabrications out of Elgin. He says help can't come soon enough. Eight days ago, federal loans ran out, leaving him on his own. This has been interesting. This has been tough. Um, when the governor first had uh, the stay-at-home order, we closed on that Friday. And I told all my employees that I would continue to keep them on payroll. For five weeks, he's been following through, waiting for more federal funding and the approval of his application. He's one of thousands in Illinois still waiting. The Small Business Administration saying Illinois is actually doing better than most. With the first wave of dollars, there were 69,900 Illinois loans, which added up to $16 billion, making our state fifth in the country in SBA federal loans. What this amounts to is a very, very strong lending community in the Great Lakes region and in Illinois. The Paycheck Protection Loans would be for up to two and a half times monthly payroll cost. Here's the one big difference, though. Part of the dollars would guarantee funds to community-based credit unions or banks, opening up opportunities for many minority neighborhoods. Certainly, there is discussions about a third wave of funding uh, that is to be determined by our policymakers in Washington, D.C. But what I will tell you is if, if you do need this funding, go now. It's not clear how long funds will last this time. Rick Kelly's just hoping it's long enough to get him some much needed relief. Do you have the money to pay them next Friday? I'm going to borrow it. I took out a personal loan through a life insurance policy of $90,000 um, so that I can continue to do this. Rick Kelly is doing what he can at this point. The average loan size right now is $206,000. Businesses will not be required to pay that back as long as all their employees return to work once things do stabilize. So, yeah. so many people just really were hoping for those dollars and they're hoping the second wave will be able mm -hmm. to help them. Let's hope so for yeah. them for sure. Thanks, Thanks. Lourdes.